So a Honda corporate jet with the engines above the wings. Uh, this is turboprop version, but you know, they have actual uh, jet engines on the, on the Honda jet, but that looks to me like a really good Honda jet. And uh, it's got the windows, you know, a couple of the features. It's got the windows. It's got this weird shaped nose to it. Um, I couldn't get the exact shape because it's more like a cone, like the Concorde was. But it has the little fins on the end of the wings. It's got a really big uh, vertical uh, wing as well. And then it's got the engines above the wings, which is very strange and very rare that you'll see them actually suspended above the wing itself. Um, it looks like they're on stilts even in the pictures. So go check out the pictures, go check out the Honda Jet and check out how I built this in under five minutes of time and only 221 pieces. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so we got to build a Honda corporate jet out of 221 pieces. The unique feature of the corporate jet is the fact that the wings are not under, hanging underneath the wings, or sorry, it's not the fact that the engines are hanging underneath the wings like most airplanes. These jet engines are actually above the wings. So that's the key feature that we got to make sure to integrate into this overall design. And it's a passenger jet, so you know, windows would be nice, but we'll see how it comes about, right? I don't have any perceived notions of how to build this, so let's put five minutes on the clock and get started. So again, the big deal is gonna be the engines, which we're gonna utilize these, or some cones. Maybe we'll utilize these but they have to be um, above the wings. That's the unique feature that is this Honda corporate jet. So if we use blue, because they use blue a lot in the commercials, something like that. It's gonna be a bigger plane than, than like the F-22 that we just did. Um, Something like that. So where are we integrate the wings here? Or the windows, I mean. So something like this. It's got a weird nose too. Actually, I'm not gonna do it this way. It's got this weird kind of nose. It's got Kind of a slanty nose. I want one of these here. Do I have a blue? No. Something like that. Yeah, it's got it's got that weird nose shape. Okay, so something like that. And then Actually going to use some of the pinks on the back side here. And it's actually quite short. So I might want to move the wing up. But let's figure out how we're going to do. It's got little end, end cap pieces too. And like stick up yeah one of these here like this it definitely has that on the ends of the wings so we're gonna put that out there and then how do we get the how do we get the engines above that's the trick huh That's not bad. That's not bad. I, I, I'm okay with that. Okay with that. So there you go. So now we gotta get. 
I'm gonna move this up a little. Because the overall, overall it's a lot shorter than what I'm depicting here, right? So, is it that short though? Hmm, it's not that short, is it? Hmm. Yeah, that looks about right. So then let's probably move this right 100% back to where it was. Yep, exactly where it was. There. That's not bad. That that looks like the right length or the right dimensions now. So it definitely goes up sharply on the back, and then there's a tail. <laughs> so we need a two by two plate. Do I have a two by two plate that I can utilize? here and then there's one big tail there we go we got a little bit no nope, just basically out of time but I'm gonna put some wheels on the bottom just to, so it sits up a little higher there not bad not great but not bad I'm gonna put some of these plates on here Give it more of a uniform color appearance. Yeah, that that's cool. I'm gonna set these back just a tad. It the engines are on top of the wing, but they're also set back just a tad. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks really good. Hmm. Is there any way to make this better? I think that's look. I think that looks dead on what it's supposed to look like. The Honda Jet. It's this sh very short, squatty jet with the engines above the above the wings, uh, the turbine engines above the wings. But I'm wondering, should we go longer wings? Is that is that something we should do? Let's give it a try and find out if that's something we should do. Let's put that aside for now, and let's look. Okay. So if I did one more like that, put this over here. Okay. And then put that underneath. Now the wing's longer. Yeah. I'm thinking this is exactly what we needed. Yep, looks like the Honda Jet almost dead on now. I think that looks very similar to the new Honda Passenger Jet. Um, very close. The unique features again are the fact that the engines are above the wing. They're jet engines and we have turboprops that actually don't even spin. But I think you get the idea of it. It showed it. it we're trying to show the uh, unique features of this jet. And I think that really shows it off really well. So leave a comment down below if you think I did a good job with this. If not, also leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear your constructive criticism as to how I could have built this better. Um, maybe it should have been longer, wider, whatever you think. Leave a comment down below, let us know. Again, if you want to play long, go pick up the classic kit 10 69 uh, it has 221 pieces there's a, a link down below where you can pick it up at Amazon it's an affiliate link we get a little bit of a kickback if you go ahead and buy it on Amazon so go ahead pick it up play along with us love to hear or see your builds so whenever you build you know if you go build this exact same kit post it 
Post it on the social medias. Hashtag Make Share Daily. We'll go find it on Twitter, uh, Instagram, and or Facebook. Wherever you like to post your uh, images, go ahead and post them up there. And uh, make sure to ask a parent if you're under a certain age. Okay, that was really fun. Now let's find out what we're gonna build next. Well, that was a cool build. And now we have to spin the wheel and find out what we're gonna build tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is kick off a whole week of toys. This is December. We're getting ready for uh, Christmas. So what are we gonna have? We're gonna have a whole theme of toys this entire week. So let's spin the wheel and find out what we're gonna build tomorrow. It is a dollhouse. That's really cool. So we're gonna build a dollhouse tomorrow out of 221 pieces in a variety of colors. Actually, the variety of colors is gonna work well for the dollhouse. So tune in tomorrow where we're gonna build that dollhouse. Now remember, if you wanna get an item on the maker wheel so that we build it, just leave a comment down below as to what we should build. And make sure that you subscribe so that you tune in and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notifications of when our new build is released each and every day. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.